Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a free online resource to create a, your own phone app. For this purpose we're going to write an app that calculates the measures in similar triangles. So what we have on your screen here is an example of what this would look like. This is an emulator, but this will eventually work on a phone if you write it and send it to your phone. What we want is to be able to enter the three measures to the sides of a triangle and here I've got just three random measures here. And I want to be able to put in a scale factor and say I want my scale factor to be 2 over 10. And notice this is one of the flaws in this thing is that I can't really put a fraction in normally. i got two separate entrances for the fraction. And I'm going to hit calculate, and it's going to calculate the new three sides of that triangle that are, uh, would be similar to the original triangle with a scale factor of 2 to 10 or 1 to 5. To do this, first thing you want to do is open a tab on your computer and go to code.org. It'll ask you to sign in. You can just sign in with a Google account rather than create anything new. So just click on continue with Google, or if you want, really want to create your own account, go ahead. And once you're signed in, you'll see a web page looks something like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, something using what's called the App Lab. That's the lab for making phone apps. So you'll get this screen. What we have on the screen is on the left hand side you have an example of what something will look like on your phone. You can make that big if some of the things written there are a little small and you can emulate what it, how it will work on your phone by hitting the run option. Above that we have options for coding which is teaching the computer what we want it to do. The next tab there says design, trying to make it look the way we want and we're not going to use the data, uh, the data tab at all. If you go back to the code design, we have all sorts of options here, uh, but we're only going to use two of them. This UI controls, that's user interface controls, things that the phone does in response to people touching it and typing stuff in. And because it's a math class, we're going to use the math functions, which are exactly the math functions you're familiar with. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. All right, but we're going to start with design. So you're going to click on the design tab above your phone, above the phone. And you probably want to make the phone as big as you can and have it still fit in the screen because some of the things are going to be a little small to read. Now the first thing we want to do uh, to make sure since the way you turn this in is by showing it on your phone is we want to make sure that it's got your name on it. So if you look at the options here, we're under design. And one of the second option, uh, the first one in the second row says ABC label. You can grab that and drag that into your phone. And that's a, just a little text box. You can type anything you want. And what you type here is your name. So, and if you're really proud of your name, you can scroll down and make the font bigger, especially if you know you got a small phone, uh, so that you can see your name. Your name has to be on it for this to count. Or, better yet, if you don't want to include your name, you can do this a different way. And by the way, if you want to get rid of a box, you're going to take this thing and just drag it off the phone, and it disappears. Instead of my name, I'm going to put a picture of myself here. So, over to the right. And you got to make sure you're clicked on the, on the phone itself. But on the right, you should have these options, properties, and events. Under properties, we got an option for an image here. And I'm going to click and choose my image. I can upload a file. You can just take a selfie if you want and upload it to your computer. Select choose. And that's going to be my background. So no one's going to mistake that this is not mine. You can either put your name or your picture on here, but you need one of those. Now, before we go any further, in case something goes wrong, you probably want to give this thing a name so you can find it. So above the phone, you can see this rename thing. It automatically saves, but I'm going to put uh, that this is my similarity app. So you want to type something in, give it some name so you can find it. Uh, and save it so that uh, you can pick this up whenever you need to. Now, the next thing I want to do is say what I'm, what I'm making here. So what I want is a spot to put in the three sides of a triangle. So over here on the right-hand side, we're still under design. I want text input boxes. And I'm going to grab three of them here. One, two, three little text input boxes. And you want to adjust them so they look nice and pretty and fancy for you. And then we're going to label these as the three sides of the triangle. To do that, click on the box. I'm going to click on the first box. And I'm going to come over here. And there's a placeholder for what's there before someone types something. And I'm going to say this is side number one. And in the second box, I'm going to put side number two, and in the third box, side number three. And again, those prompts are listed under the placeholder text. Then the boxes are really huge for somewhere I'm only going to type in like a two-digit number, maybe a one-digit number. So right under the placeholder, it says width. 
So if I go here, I don't need it to be 200 uh, units across. So I'm going to make mine a lot shorter and make it just 80 units across. I'm going to do that for all three of them. And just click on the box, go over to the width, click on how big I want it, and then rearrange them the way you want. Then I want to label what's going on here. So I'm going to actually grab a label again, drag that over, and say that these are the original three sides of a triangle. So I grabbed a label, same thing as a text box, drag it over here. And in there, I'm going to write original three sides. Now, if you look here, you can hardly see that with my picture in the background. So I'm going to change the color. You can do all sorts of things, mess with the color so you can read the stuff better. You can make the font larger or smaller. And you're going to adjust it the way you want. So after you've moved it around, you can play with the colors over here or however you want to do it. Once you've got this set up, the next thing to do is have a place for the user to input the scale factor. So once again, we're going to need two text input boxes because it's going to be a fraction, and we need a top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction. So I'm going to grab a text input box and another text input box. I'm going to make this into a fraction. These boxes are way bigger than they need to be, so I'm going to drop them down to a much smaller size by going over to the right and changing the width of the box. And then I'm going to rearrange them. I'm going to put a label on them that says that this is the scale factor. So now my app looks like this. The next thing we need is a button that somebody presses and says, hey, I want you to, uh, computer here, I want you to do something with these numbers here. So we're going to need a button. And usually I'm just going to take my button. Uh, you can make it as big or small as you want. But I'm going to put into the text, I'm going to say to calculate. And what it's going to calculate is the other sides. And again, you can change the color of the button, change the text color in the button, do whatever you want to make it look in the prettiest way that would make you happy. But next, we need a place for the computer to actually spit back some answers. So I'm going to have a label here, and my label is going to say uh, new sides, or the sides of the similar triangle, or whatever I want it to be. I want new sides, and I'm going to want three, uh, not inputs, but labels. So we're going to put three labels here, and we are going to program the text from those labels to say, to do a math problem and spit out the results of the math problem. Now, it's kind of hard to see these, so I'm going to change the backgrounds in all of them so that these uh, words sh uh, will show up a little bit better. So here we've got uh, my design done. I've messed with my font sizes and the colors of the boxes or whatever. And the idea here, for no matter how you made it look, is we want to be able to type in three sides of a triangle, type in a scale factor, hit a button, and have it spit out the three sides of the similar triangle. Now, we've made it look good up to this point, but now we actually got to do the work and tell the computer how to do this. So we're going to switch above the phone from the design portion, portion to the coding portion so we can tell it what to do. Okay, to do the coding, the first thing we got to do is switch to user interface controls, and we're going to tell the computer to do, some, to do some math problems when someone clicks a button. So the very first option under user interface is on event, and the event, we're going to change it from ID to button one, and when somebody clicks it. Now we're saying, when somebody clicks that button, this is what we want you to do. And here's what we want it to do. We want this first box here, where I have side one, the, the new triangle here, we want it to spit out the new measurement. So you're going to want to hover over that box where the first side comes in and find its name. It says ID. Mine says ID is label five. So we want label 5 to read out what happens when I multiply the first side by the scale factor. To do that, we're going to grab the, uh, the, the block that says set text, and we're going to drag it up and put it into our code here. And our code, since mine is label, what was it, label 5, let set the text for label 5. And then here where it says text, whatever you type here, that's what it would display in the box. But that's not what we want. We want it to do a math problem. So we're going to have to go over to math. And for our math problem, we want to multiply our original box here. So I'm going to grab the multiplication box. I'm going to drag that over where it says text. So I'm telling it, I want you to do a math problem. I want you to take the original side and multiply by the scale factor. And the scale factor is essentially a fraction. So we want to also grab the division uh, icon here and put that in the second box. So we're going to say, take the original side and multiply by the, the top of the scale factor divided by the bottom of the scale factor. So we have to tell the program to get the numbers that the user has typed in. To do that, we have to go back to the user interface, because what we're going to say is we want the computer to go get the number that's in the first box here. And there's literally a command that says get number. So I'm going to grab the get number, I'm going to put it in the first spot, 
I'm going to say, get the number out of this box. If I don't remember its name, I'm just going to hover over it. Mine says the ID is text input one. So I'm going to put text input one. You might have to hunt for it. There it is. And I'm going to multiply by the top of the scale factor, divide by the bottom. My label for the top of the scale factor is text input four. So I'm going to multiply by that. So I'm going to go get that number, get the number here. And I'm going to make sure it says text input four. And then I'm running out of space here. We're going to have to scroll to the side because I'm going to want to divide by what's in the bottom box, which is text input five. So I'm going to say get that number. Go get text input five. Whoop, there we go. And put that here. Nope, can't see it, so I got to slide over and change that to text input five. So I got this long looking code here. And if you want to see what this will look like if you were doing some real computer pro programming, you could click the button that says show text. It would show how, like, a real computer programmer might just type that in. If you're really good, you type that whole thing in in a couple of seconds. All right, but let's see how this works. I'm going to go back to the blocks and I'm going to see how this works. And the way I'm going to see if this works is I'm going to hit the run button. And so now I can type stuff in. This is what it would work, work like on a phone. So say my original side, I'm going to just pick a number, I'll say it's 60, and my scale factor is 2 over 3. And I calculate 2 thirds of 60 should be 40. So side 1 should be 40. Check. Got it. Now what we need to do is the same thing for the other two sides. So for me, the other two places where an answer wants to come on, I hit reset on the bottom, by the way is in label six and label seven. So I'm gonna go and say to set the text for label six and set the text for label seven. I'm gonna do both of these at the same time. And now we want to do, uh, oh, we gotta change that to label six and label seven, respectively. Make sure you're putting the right ones in the right spots. And we're gonna put the math problem here, in which I take the number in the second box times the scale factor to read it out in the second box. The number in the third box times the scale factor to read out the third box. So again, we go to math, grab the multiplication for both of them. Again, do them two at once now. And the division to represent the scale factor for both of them. And we can put this in. And then I'm going to do this little reverse so I don't have to scroll to the side. But I end up dividing by text to input five. So again, back to the user interface. Uh, I'm going to say get number, and it's going to be input five for both of those. That's what we divide by. That's the bottom of our scale factor. And then we want the top of the scale factor, which for me is text input four. So I'm going to get that number for the top part of that fraction. And then I want to say the original number we're multiplying by for the middle one, I want to use this middle box, which for me is text input two. And for the bottom one, the bottom box, text input three. So again, we're going to go get those numbers in both cases. And change it to text input three and four, was it? Two and three, sorry. Text input two and text input three. Check. Now, if I run it, I should be able to put in all three sides. Say so I'll go back to the example I had at the beginning 30, 40, and 50. And I'll make it uh, uh, two over 10. Calculate, and we should get three new sides to the triangle. So for me, my app works. Uh, I might want to save it again, but I, what's more important is I'm going to share it. If you go under share, you have two options. You can send it to a phone. If you click this, it'll just say enter a phone number. You know, you enter your own phone number, and it'll give you. A, uh, it'll send you a link that you can download and save the app to your phone that just does this. Uh, if you don't have a phone or you need a small phone or for whatever reason you just don't want to use your phone, that's fine. Go to the uh, go to the link there. Oops, lost it. Go to that link, copy it, and you can just paste that into a URL, and you can run an emulator for a phone on your computer screen.